This looks like a solid piece of plywood, but think again. Today I'm going to show you how curve bending works and I'm going to give you all the mathematical tools that you need to make perfect bends every single time. Enjoy! Hi guys, my name is Isaac and uh, this is One Time Builds. Today I'm going to be explaining the geometry and mathematics behind curve bending, which is a technique in, uh, in, that you would use to bend uh, mostly plywood uh, with round shapes. Um, I used this recently uh, to make a lamp, uh, bending a piece of plywood into a complete ellipse. But today I'm going to talk about the geometry and mathematics and to explain you and show you how this works, I'm going to be using um, a ruler, straight ruler, a caliper, a piece of plywood and a pen and I will also be recording um, some drawings in the iPad um, and I'm going to try to make this into one single take uh, at least for the explanation part then I will show you how this looks uh, once it's uh, bent. So let's get on with it. So curve bending is a technique in which you will take straight please, piece of plywood and then you will be cutting some grooves in one side of the plywood and this allows you to bend the plywood around the area where you actually cut the grooves. Now how this works precisely is fairly straightforward and for this we need to consider a couple of things. So first we're going to talk about the thickness of the plywood. So how thick the plywood is going to be in my case, I'm going to be using this piece of plywood, which is uh, 12 millimeter plywood. So I'm going to write this down. So my plywood is going to be 12 millimeters. Now, um, there are a couple more interesting things uh, that we need to uh, uh, realize. One is that a full circle, it's a whole 360 degrees, right? And therefore, if I cut it in four, each of these quadrants is going to be about 90 degrees, right? Um, there is one more piece of information which is critical, which is the diameter, uh, sorry, the perimeter of the circle. So the, uh, uh, the distance that you would travel if you would walk along uh, the line that forms the circle, that uh, can be calculated with a formula that is 2 times pi times r, and r will be the diameter, the, 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 uh, the radius of the circle, so the distance between the center and the outer side. So this will give you the perimeter. Right. Now, these are the basics that we need to consider. Now, curve bending is a fairly straightforward technique. So you have a piece of plywood that is of a certain thickness, right? So certain thickness and if you would want to bend this piece of plywood between this location and this location at a certain angle uh, which could be whatever angle you want right then basically uh, if you would look at a full circle what happens is that in the outer perimeter of the bending the distance or the perimeter will be longer than in the inside. So basically what we will need to do is calculate how much difference in that distance there is. So um, let's take a very simple example. Uh, let's say that I want to bend a piece of plywood at a 90 degree angle. So this will be so. I'm going to bend this piece of plywood at a 90 degree angle. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. 90 degree angle. The second thing that we need to decide is what the radius of the bend is going to be. So basically this distance, how big do I want this distance to be? And in this case I'm just going to pick a random uh, distance, let's say, um, uh, let's say uh, 7 centimeters, right? So the distance or the radius of the bend is going to be 7 centimeters or 70 millimeters. Now, because I'm using a 12 millimeter plywood, which is basically the thickness of my plywood, this means that the inner radius 
let's call it r small, is going to be 70 minus 12 millimeters. And that is basically 58. So 58 millimeters is going to be the inside radius. Okay, so um, so far so good. Now, what I need to know is the, dis the difference in distance between the outer perimeter and the inside perimeter. So the outer perimeter I'm going to call it large D and the inside I'm going to call it small d. Now large D it's fairly straightforward. This is one fourth, right? So oops, let me write this with the proper number. Remember that one quarter, one quarter of the circle is basically one fourth of the entire uh, uh, of the entire circle. So we're going to do ninety degrees, which is exactly one fourth. So it's one fourth of the entire formula for the perimeter. So one fourth of two times pi times big R. Big R is the radius of the outside of my plywood. So this is my large D and my small D is one fourth of two times pi times the small R. So fairly straightforward. Now if I make these calculations it comes to large D will be and I'm gonna be using calculator to make sure I don't mess up. So large B will be 0 times 25 times 3 times 14 times 2 and times the large radius which will be 70 millimeters. So that would be 109,9 millimeters. Now small d is going to be 0 0.25 times 2 times 3.14 times uh, the small r, which is 58 millimeters. So that's 91,1 millimeters. So now I have the difference between these two numbers, which comes to 18.84. So this would be the difference of so D minus D equals 18.84 millimeters. This is the key amount that I need to subtract from my inside. Now, let's get back to the curve bending technique. So I have a piece of plywood and I'm going to be cutting groups, right? So we decided or we said that this is how you actually make uh, 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 the curve bending technique. Now, the question is now, how many, how many groups do I need to cut um, so that I can bend at the angle that I want with the radius that I want? And this is where this distance d where the difference between these two distances becomes critical. So I have a distance here, which is large d, and a distance here that I need to cut down to small d. So basically, I need to get rid of all this material in my wood. Now, obviously, if I would get rid of this material only, only at the very end, so on this side, there will be no bending, it will just break. So that doesn't work. What I need to do is I need to take this distance and distribute it through my piece of plywood. So again, I'm going to draw my piece of plywood. This is large D. And now I have a distance here, which for us and for my particular case is 18.84 millimeters. And this needs to be distributed along this distance. So I have the large D, which is, uh, which is uh, 109.9 millimeters, so 110 millimeters. And I need to cut uh, out 18.8 millimeters. Now, one more thing that we didn't discuss is how am I going to cut these groups? And I'm going to be using a circular saw, right? A hand saw. And I know that my saw has a thickness. So my blade has a thickness of about one millimeter. So when I cut the groove, I know that the space left in the wood is roughly one millimeter. So if I need to cut out 18.89, 84 millimeters, so let's say 19. So we're going to approximate this with 19 
millimeters. So if I need to cut 19 millimeters out of wood, and I know that every cut will remove one millimeter, that leaves me with roughly 19 cuts that I need to distribute along this distance. So I will need to make 19 of these cuts along this distance. Now, because I want the cut to be completely round, this means that these need to be distributed equally throughout my um, uh, plywood. So now, the last bit is I have 100, uh, my large D is 109, so let's say 110 for approximation, 110 millimeters, and I need to cut 19 grooves into that distance. So if I want to calculate what is the distance between each of these groups, I just need to divide 110, divided 19, so 110 divided 19, which basically gives me 5.8 millimeters. So this is 5.8 millimeters. So this is basically, this is all the information that I need at this point, right? So when I have my plywood, I have a piece of plywood here, I'm going to be marking a few things. I'm going to be marking the start of the bending point, the end of the bending point, and I know that the distance between these two points is going to be roughly 110 millimeters, and then I need to space 19 cuts in this direction, and the space in between these cuts is going to be 5.8 millimeters. So I'm going to start measuring 5.8 millimeters from every single cut and space them out through the wood. This is going to allow me to cut all my 19, uh, uh, all my 19 groups, and this will finally give me a piece of wood where the outer perimeter it's going to be 110 millimeters and the inner perimeter is going to be my small d which was 91.1 millimeters this is going to be 91.1 millimeters and the reason i know this is because by removing or by carving uh, uh, 19 grooves of roughly one millimeter thickness, I'm going to remove a total of almost 19 millimeters of material, which is the distance between the outer perimeter and the inner perimeter. So once I have done this, the only thing I need to do is just bend the plywood to make sure and check that indeed um, it uh, bends at exactly 19 degrees with a radius of, um, I think we said the radius to 7 centimeters from the outside. Now, this is all the math that we have to do. So now I know that I need to mark, uh, these are the key measurements that I have, 110 millimeters, uh, which is the bending point, every groove 5.8 millimeters, and 19 grooves in total. So the only thing left is actually cut the wood and show you how this actually works. Let's get on with it. Okay, so um, I took my piece of plywood with the markings that I did and I cut the 19 grooves um, in the space that is going to be uh, the, uh, the, the rounded uh, part of the, of, the, of the piece. There is one key aspect which is how deep you need to set up your blade and um, I don't have an exact answer to this but um, I think that uh, the key would be to leave, at least in plywood, the last hardwood layer intact so that you can bend it. And if uh, you want to have more flexibility on bending, you can also make the, uh, the intact side a bit humid to achieve the bending. Now, I've cut all 19 grooves, so the question is, does this bend to my desired specifications, which is 7 centimeters of diameter and 90 degree angle? So let's find out. I'm going to just, you know, apply some force until I can't apply anymore. So I can apply a bit more, but not a lot more. So you can see this is exactly 19 degrees. Um, and now the question is whether this is the right angle. And um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you that on the iPad. So. I have something to hold this 
That's about 90 degrees. And I'm going to trace the line both outside. Inside. Now the question is whether this is 7 centimeters uh, in diameter, so I think this is about, you know, here. This should be around here, or less. So the question is, how much is this distance? And the answer is exactly 7 centimeters. I am very pleased. So this distance, according to my ruler, it's exactly 7 centimeters. Let's see if I can show you this. So that distance, it's exactly whoops oh. use the, the caliper so that's that distance is exactly seven centimeters so there you go that's it that's how you um, do Curve bending is rather straightforward, just a few formulas, and then you can get the bending right to your specifications. I hope that you found this useful. I certainly would have found something like this useful before I did my first curve bending, but now I know how to do this, and I hope you do too. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers! So. Um, I was done with the video, but um, I find the bending of plywood so satisfying that I thought I thought I'm, I'm just gonna show you one more time. It's just fantastic. Look at this. Look at this. It's great. It's the shapes that you can make with this. It's just uh, it's just amazing. Yeah. And this is an extremely robust material. Once you put uh, once you apply uh, wood to the uh, inside of the groups, this will basically stay solid, uh, basically forever. Mm -hmm. So, how great is that? And this is with a very simple uh, hand tool, no, um, uh, 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 no table saw, uh, nothing like this. A very simple uh, handheld uh, tool to get these groups and look at that perfect curve. Fantastic. Thanks.